As I record this video, I respectfully acknowledge that I am standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation. And this video is all about different numeric types and how they're represented in JIG. So let's take a look at something here. So this is a variable I've declared, and it looks like a series of boxed integers. But in reality, because it's boxed, these integers actually have different types. And we can see that by the fonts that have been chosen to represent the types, you can see that they are different. Which ones are different? How are they different? Well, if I click here, this is a Boolean shape. So when I see an outline like this, an outline font, that's Boolean. Integer is just a very simple, straightforward, there's no enhancement at all. Fill in the, uh, the outline with gray and I get extended. Fill it with blue and I'm in floating. Italicize it and fill it with green, I have a complex type. And bolded, I have a rational type. So that just shows you the different types actually look different just by inspection. You get used to going, oh, that must be float because it's blue. Those kind of things happen quite quickly and it makes it very easy to distinguish the types. But then within the types, let's take a look and see how this works. So we've got Boolean, which should be no surprise. It looks like that, <laughs> zeros and ones outlined. So right away, we know we're dealing with Boolean. Here, integers. So let's take a look at that, hit F6, and there are my integers. No problem, that's just what integers look like in JIG. Now, in this one, it's very long integer, it looks like. Well, because it's very long, it's actually extended. So this is the extended type. So when I see this light gray, I know I'm actually dealing with extended numbers. Next one, I'm looking here at uh, a float, because it's got the exponent. Uh, and I can show you what that looks like in JIG. What I've been able to do, because I'm displaying everything in SVG, I can actually change the font of the separator, which makes it a bit easier to read. I can read the front part, the and then the exponent. I think it's mantissa and exponent. For complex, I can use floats as the real or the imaginary part of the complex. And again, I've been able to change the font of the central part. So right away, you can see it's easily separated. And where this is really useful is in something like this, which is a rational number. It's a ratio of two numbers. And by highlighted in red, it makes it much easier to know that this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So it's this number over that number, and that's rational. And that's actually uh, J's rational um, approximation of pi. So this is how JIG makes the numeric types a little more accessible to you when you're working in a session. I hope that helps.